Hi guys, my name is Mandy and welcome to Chit Mandy Cook's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make extreme freestyle or really spicy pad ka prao or we call stir fry Thai holy basil. This leaf is ka prao. We're going to use this as a main ingredient and I'm going to add some more extra ingredient to make my pad ka prao recipe more special. All right, I will let Napa explain to you how to make the dish. Let's get started. Hi guys, it is Napa here. I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to make the dish. For the meat, we have minced pork, minced chicken, fresh prawns, squids. Next, we have chilies, we have dried chilies and fresh chilies. It is best to use red color to add the nice color to the dish. Garlic. So here we have both Chinese garlic and Thai garlic. You can mix both or you can just use one. Next we have chopped garlango, chopped lemongrass, and cafe lime leaves. And the thing that you can't miss out, the most important ingredient is Thai holy basil. For seasoning, we have first fish sauce and next is soy sauce, oyster sauce, chicken powder, and lastly, we have oil for stir frying. Oh, and I almost forget another ingredient. For today, we will be using pearl egg for our pad krapao. All right, let's get going. Don't forget to pack the cry. Sub the cry. Just kidding. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. To fry pearl eggs, it is very easy. Just set a pan over medium heat and add frying oil. When the oil is hot, you can add the eggs. And now the eggs. Are so you can put it on a plate and set them aside. All right, now let's start to make our pad krap pao. We are going to begin by making the stir-fried herb paste. So what are we going to do is we're going to pound all of the herbs, the garlic, lemongrass and galangal and chilies together. All right, let's begin. Alright, next we are going to add lemongrass and galangal. And pound them into paste. And lastly, we are going to add dried chili. And pound them together with the rest of the ingredients, roughly. Now we are done. Let's take a look at the texture of our paste. A little trick for you to remove all the paste from the pestle, you can twist the pestle around and it'll be nice and clean. To stir fry pad krap pao, put a pan over medium heat and add stir frying oil. When the oil is hot, you can add the herb paste that we pounded earlier. Stir fry it until the paste is fragrant and you will see that the oil started to turn into orange red color because the color from the chili came out. After the paste is fragrant, now we're gonna add minced meat and seafood that we prepared for stir frying.
Once the meat are cooked, we're gonna add seafood. And then next step, we're gonna start to season our stir fry by adding oyster sauce. And after soy sauce, we're gonna add a fish sauce. Followed by soy sauce. Then add chicken powder or brotli. Keep stir frying until the ingredients mix well. Lastly, we are going to add basil leaves. Make sure that you use Thai holy basil. Just take only the leaves and leave out the stem. And last ingredients, coffee lime leaves. We almost forgot. Keep stir frying for about a minute until the basil is cooked. As you see, we put heaps of basil leaves in our stir fry. When you go and eat at a restaurant, they only put three leaves for you, but at home, you can do whatever you want, so you can add a lot of them to add more flavor. Now you can turn off the heat and we are done. Let's serve our stir fried holy basil or pat krat prao. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you like, please like and share to your friend. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Ring the bell so you don't miss the fun content. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!